Hey everyone, it's Nick from Headliner. In my last video, I explained how headliners are the best tool at a podcaster's disposal for sharing clips on social media. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you three different headliner styles that you can use to market your podcast. And these aren't the only kinds of videos you can make on Headliner. Because Headliner is a full-featured video editor, there are tons of clips you can create in order to give your podcast a unique voice on social media. And if you're looking to turbocharge your social media presence, you can combine the different video types or use all of them in order to have a constant stream of content on each of your feeds. Okay, so let's get started. The first style I'm showing you is what I like to call the podcast artwork, and it uses, as the name implies, the artwork from your podcast paired with a clip of audio from an episode. It's definitely one of the simpler headliners that you can create for your podcast, but it has its share of advantages. For starters, you can make videos in this style really quickly because it's only using artwork from your show. All you need to do to make a video in this style is upload your artwork onto Headliner and then add a waveform and transcription if you would like to do that. While this sounds like it wouldn't be all that special, a test we ran over on our blog actually determined that a simple video, which is one containing an image and audio without any kind of wave or transcription, still performs twice as well as posting a still image onto your social feed. If you're interested in reading more about that test, a link to the complete blog post will be in the description of this video. This headliner type is also great for branding. Because it's just your artwork, it doesn't leave much to your viewer's imagination. It's a bit like saying, this is my podcast, this is what the artwork looks like, and here's some audio from it. Check it out if you're interested. Because you can create headliners in this style so quickly, this is perfect for someone who's trying to get a lot of clips out on social media, but doesn't have the time to create graphics for them. And if you're worried that positioning your podcast artwork and audio isn't going to cut it, you could always place a background video or GIF to spice things up a little bit. That's something that I plan to show you in Headliner in a future video, but if you can't wait until then, we actually do offer several templates on our blog that would allow you to do just that. A link to that will also be in the description. Using background GIFs or videos is great because while it keeps the focus on your podcast artwork, it adds motion to the sides of the screen which will hopefully help attract viewers. The second headliner style is what I like to call the quote style. It's perfect for interview style podcasts or clips where you would want to emphasize some of the actual content from your episode. This style involves a bit of graphic design which can be done on an image editor of your choosing. Though we personally recommend Canva because of how everything is templated and easy to recycle there. What makes this style so effective is the fact that it's essentially a moving version of a piece of content that's already popular on social media. Quotes It's powerful because it isn't just a piece of marketing for your podcast. It can stand on its own as original content, and that makes it a bit more shareable in the eyes of the average social media user because they're not viewing it as an ad, but rather as something that they resonate with. And because people are more likely to view this as original content and not a podcast plug, your video will have a lot more longevity on social media. So while the quote style may take more time than some of the other headliner styles you can make, you can actually look at it as a bit of a long-term investment to help you get listeners. And the third and final headliner style I'll be showing you today is what I like to call the video style. Although you can also call it the documentary or editorial style, or the Ken Burns. This style uses multiple images in full video in order to create something that's a bit more dynamic than some of the other styles I've shown you today. The images and video that you can use in this style can vary from things that you've captured yourself and uploaded onto Headliner to ones found online. And if you're a Headliner Pro user, you can actually use Getty editorial images and our stock video library without ever having to leave the app itself. The video you create will go a long way in helping keep people engaged with your content. It'll add a strong visual component to your clip that conveys a compelling narrative. So suddenly, instead of just listening to your podcast's account of the Apollo 11 moon landing, people on social media will be able to see pictures or even footage of the landing while being gripped by your narration. 
What's especially great about this headliner style is the fact that it can be easily adapted in order to fit a wide variety of podcast genres and formats. By using these headliner styles in order to create clips out of your podcast, you'll be able to convert viewers on social media into future listeners. At the end of the day, your ability to leverage your use of headliners into your social media process is what's going to help drive growth on your podcast. So, the more headliners you share and the more complex and well-optimized they are, the faster your podcast will grow. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to design your very first headliner, as well as share a couple of tips for getting the most out of that first video. And after that, I'm going to walk you through creating a couple other headliner video styles, as well as share a couple of tips for getting the most out of your posts on social media. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're ready to just get started creating videos for your podcast, head over to headliner.app to sign up and start creating. And you can also tag us in all of your headliner videos by tagging at headlinervideo on Twitter or Instagram when you're making a post. 